So optimize settings, what is there to say there? Well, first let's start with SSR. If you go down to the default setting, it will notably degrade the visual quality of SSR. Seems like in resolution, uh, but if you do that, you get a 10% performance win. And I think if you were looking for optimized settings, uh, you would take that hit and you would use them. Volumetrics, uh, going down to low makes them a little bit too chunky, I would say. Medium, you're scarcely going to see a difference and you'll get 1% better performance back here as measured out an RTX 4060 at 1080p native. The detail setting, uh, this one changes the two things. First, it changes the tessellation factor on the ground, apparently. And then it also, on the low setting, more noticeably degrades the LOD at a distance. Uh, it also degrades it slightly uh, from ultra to medium, but that is less noticeable than it is on low. Here, I would say if you were looking for an optimized setting, medium doesn't look too different from ultra in most scenes. And here I did measure a 1% performance win. So if you were doing that, you could do that. Uh, SSAO, the default setting here would be the winning performance combo, 3% performance above the high setting. But as I'll talk about later with comparisons to PS5, it does introduce aliasing into the scene. Also, it lightens the look of SSAO's uh, appearance on geometry. So, but once again, that's optimized settings for people who are really scrounging. Shadows, I've noticed very little difference in performance here. So I would say just keep it to high. And the other settings were not really measurable in any good way. And I did not notice issues with eight gigabytes at 1080p, for example, when using the highest texture quality setting in the game. So textures does not seem to be a big issue here. In total, if you were to measure side by side in a heavy scene like this, where it was originally at 1080p native on the RTX 4060, it was around like 40, late upper 40s in the FPS. Well, you can gain back 19% more performance by using my optimized settings. But I honestly would just recommend instead keeping the settings pretty high and just use, uh, utilizing dynamic resolution scaling I've found that when you do use it in combination with the in-game V-Sync, that it actually keeps really well to your set target. I just ran through this area here. It's dipping all the time there on the side without DRS, but with DRS on, it's a completely flat 60. It isn't perfect. It will have sometimes trouble catching up, uh, but it is way better, I think, than losing visual quality for other others, especially if you're using DLSS. As this recording shows here though, uh, I did find that if you don't use the VSync option in game, it could sometimes not work so effectively. Like it almost looks like it turns off occasionally. So do keep that in mind. Okay, I also compared to PlayStation 5. As Tom was talking about earlier, there's like the 720p to 1080p range for the DRS, and then it is upscaled by FSR2 to 4K. Uh, but it is using a custom version of FSR2. We were a little confused by it, so we sent off an email and we got an answer back that it is a custom version of FSR2. So if you compare to PC, you'll see that it resolves more detail than internal 1080p rendering. Its edge quality is most similar to 4K ultra performance mode, but its internal detail quality, uh, like texture surfaces, for example, is more akin to a little bit below 1440p balance mode. So it's, it has different image quality characteristics than normal FSR2. Another thing that if you look at this uh, comparison here of the differences between SSR and the versions, you'll see that the PS5 version resolves SSR without these like pixelization features. And that'll also apply to certain uh, particles in the game. Basically, it kind of trades the sharpness and pixelness of FSR2 for a kind of blurriness and a softening. But that can be a positive image quality aspect, depending upon what you're looking at. I noticed grass is different between PC and PlayStation 5, but there's no option on PC to adjust that. I have no idea why, but it's slightly different. Maybe slightly less dense. It's really hard to know. The detail setting is custom. Uh, the LOD is pulled back to around the medium setting, but the deformation on the ground appears to be the low setting. So it's some custom value that doesn't seem to be available on PC there. The texture filtering is really obviously set to medium, which looks like 4X, which is a very typical thing to do for performance mode games, you know, uh, on console there. I noted that SSR is probably set to default, but it's impossible to really know because once again, FSR2 is different between the titles and it's really hard to tell. Uh, same applies to volumetrics there. And the shadows, 
is a slightly custom setting where it is definitely lower than high, but it is somewhat slightly different to medium. So it's like closest to medium there. And with SSAO, it's really hard to tell and still what the difference would be. But if you move the camera back and forth, like I'm doing here, you can see that there is extra aliasing like flicker in the default version. And that lines up with exactly what we see on the PlayStation 5 version. So it's probably using something similar to default there. Here, I once again did kind of want to see how CPU limited the game was on console and PC. And I loaded up this one scene from the very beginning of the game with the 7800 X3D, Ryzen 5 3600, and the PlayStation 5 set to its speed mode. And I noted that the PS5 performed almost one to one with the Ryzen 5 3600 in this one scene where it was CPU limited on PC for both you know, CPUs there. So, um, you know, at the beginning of this generation, we said, oh, Ryzen 5 3600, it's going to be similar to, to that, that PS5. Well, in this case, it was very similar, uh, <laughs> but it, it still doesn't explain the Xbox Series X performance advantage to me here. I'm still really mystified exactly what it is, what is happening. That bit especially, the fact we've dialed into the exact settings and we've got a close uh, approximation, a very close a match for the hardware CPU side. Very interesting that we're still seeing a Series X advantage. It could be LOD variation on the creatures as they swarm in. Uh, there could be a different way it's optimized. But And also it's worth saying that we did test on the same patch, latest patch version on both consoles, uh, 1.02 on each. So that is where it is. We can only describe what we're seeing so far. Does that uh, wrap up your thoughts on PC then? Is that everything? Yeah, I mean, just to say once again, I do wish it was uh, in a slightly better state regarding things like shader compilation. Um, but if you are looking for 60 FPS uh, in the purest form possible, it's really only on PC right now with high-end kit.